Hello, uh, the question for today is how can a horse or a bullock pull a cart forward though the action and reaction they apply on each other are equal? So it's a common argument that uh, when a horse pulls a cart, uh, the cart and the horse pull on each other with equal forces, action and reaction they are. So that's why the cart should not move forward. That's the logic given by people. So let's see wh uh, whether it's true or not. We have a system here in which the horse is pulling the cart. Uh, the cart is one system, the horse is another system and uh, we have to come treat this system as a combination. So initially if we just look at the cart here, the cart is being pulled by a force T forward and uh, uh, it is held back by the frictional force FF. So that's why for the cart we have the resultant force is equal to T minus FF which will be in forward direction. So let me write here. Uh, forward forward and this is equal to mass into acceleration so its mass is equal to mass of the cart into its acceleration A is of uh, acceleration in the forward direction now if you consider the horse as a system the horse will be exerting force somewhat like this in this direction so we have uh, shown the force like this so because of that the earth or the surface will be exerting an exerting an opposite force reaction force like this so since it is slanted, it will have its uh, horizontal as well as vertical components. If the angle theta is the angle with the horizontal, the horizontal component is r cos theta and the vertical is r sin theta. So this r cos theta will interact with t. Now the job of the horse is to make r cos theta more than this t. So if you can make a t, make the reaction, the r cos theta more than t, then it can create some acceleration. So, in such case, we have the resultant force as r cos theta minus t equal to. So, this will also be in forward direction if it can make r cos theta more than this uh, tension force t. So, this will be equal to mass of the horse into its acceleration. So, this is m h into a. Now, these two a are same because the horse and the cart should have same acceleration. If we if, uh, say that uh, the horse will be, have more acceleration than the cart, then they will separate. The cart will be left behind and horse will move forward. And if we say that uh, the cart has more acceleration than the horse, then the cart will hit the horse and the horse can trip down, it, it can get injuries. So they should have same acceleration, they are designed that way. So if you add these two equations, I will have R cos theta minus t plus t minus ff will be equal to mha plus mca which gives us if i cancel this t and t r cos of theta minus ff will be equal to mh plus mc then we have this a which then gives us a is equal to r cos of theta minus ff divided mh plus mc. So if the horse can apply force in such a way that r cos theta is more than this frictional force, we will have a positive acceleration or the forward acceleration. So it's not just about action reaction. Action reaction is there, but it is in this string. It is applied by force applied by horse on the cart and by the cart on the force on the horse. So it's about whether this r cos theta can beat the value of a frictional force or not.